I spent most of last week feeling pretty flat, not really very motivated. Yeah, just not really feeling myself, which I guess I put down a little bit to travel and fatigue, but actually, yeah, felt like there was potentially something else there. I hadn't really processed the race properly. I was still really hanging on to my disappointment in the bike. I really hadn't worked out in my head why I was so disappointed, what that meant, and actually just almost, you know, letting go of the disappointment so I could then move on and take the lessons. I thought I was quite good at processing races and moving on and being resilient, etc. And I think part of why I didn't process it properly was because actually I almost wanted to kid myself into thinking that, yeah, I can just brush off that disappointment and it's fine and take the positives and try not to wallow in it. We're all human. <laughs> Sometimes you have to give yourself a bit of a break to, to properly deal with things. Ultimately, the bottom of it, it's fear. Fear, I think, underlies all sorts of things. Fear that I'm not good enough, fear that I shouldn't be standing on that pro start line. With the bike being my strength, it was the bike that, in my eyes, I, I failed on and didn't show that strength. It just brought all these feelings up of, you know, maybe that bike in Florida was a fluke, maybe I'm not as strong on the bike as I thought, maybe actually that performance in Tulsa is more of a reflection of of where I'm at. I'm not as good as I think I am. <laughs> Digging into it and actually really thinking about why I was so disappointed, I now feel like I've been able to let it go. This morning I woke up and felt like a, a weight had been lifted. I was back to feeling much more positive and energetic and ready to get back into training went and smashed out a VO2 bike session <laughs> and was happy to confirm that I do have some strong legs. Whilst that race review I did at the time, that, that is how I honestly thought I felt, but actually it can take a bit longer to process things and sometimes you need to dig a bit deeper and really make sure that you've worked out if there is anything else going on that you need to kind of address. My biggest fear is that I'm actually just not good enough. It's not even about putting the work in and not showing it. It's that I could put all the work in possible and just not be good enough. But like I'm not good enough to be where I think I want to be, which is at the top. And I think based off some of those kind of age group results that I've got, I'm pretty sure in my head that I can be top five at Kona one day. My fear is that I would realise that actually I'm not good enough to do that and that that's not going to happen in which case I think it would be really hard to stay motivated because I don't really want to be one of those people that just floats through races gets some like top fives here and there but never quite wins anything or never quite performs on that world-class stage mm -hmm.